Howdy folks and welcome to another Salient Process BPM technical tutorial. In the last uh, week or so from the time of this recording, the latest IBM BPM 860 Cumulative Fix 2018 March Edition became available. So that's 860-2018-03. And one of the features of this release was the arrival of the decision tables. Now we had decision tables previously in uh, BPM Process Designer Eclipse Edition, but uh, with uh, the 860-2018-03 release, uh, decision tables are back with a vengeance in the web PD environment. So let's go through these because I kind of like decision tables. So the notion here is that we have a problem or a puzzle in our BPM solution that is uh, we need to make a decision. And a classic decision might be to calculate the discount we want to apply to an order. So imagine an order arrives at our business and we want to give a discount as a function of how much the order was. So we might, for example, create a script. Let me zoom it in. A script that might look like this. Oh dear. So much for my, so much for my dragging and dropping. That's not working out well. Let's try that again. We've got a script which may look like this. So we've got an order amount, and if the order amount is less than $100, we discount zero. If the order amount is under 200 discount 5%. If the order amount is less than 500 we discount 10%. And finally, if the order amount is not one of these, meaning it's greater than 500 we discount by 15%. So this is JavaScript manipulating variables based on a set of rules and the rules are in this case the value of the order. Well you can look at that and you can read that and you can understand what it does. Is it maintainable? Sure if you're if you into JavaScript programming but is there a better way? And Of course there is. There's always a better way and the answer to this is to use the feature in BPM known as decision tables. So when we add a decision table, and I'll show you how to do that shortly, we end up with a example that might look like this. So this is exactly the same logic but distinctly differently presented. So in this case we have our order amount here with a minimum and maximum and the percentage that we wish to offer. So if the percent, if the order is between 0 and 100, no discount. Between 100 and 200, 5 percent. Between 200 and 500, 10 percent. And greater than 500, 15 percent. So this is the, this is the notion. This is a decision table. So let's look at how we can go about creating decision tables in the latest IBM BPM. So over here we have our friend, the uh, task activity, and from the task activity we can select different types of activities, and one of them is a decision. So if we select a decision and then uh, drag and drop the decision onto our environment, the newly added decision then shows up in our decisions tab. Um, so let's call this one, let's give it a name, uh, my test number two. And if we go to decisions, we see my test number two as one of the decisions we can edit. So we select that and we are into a empty decision. I'm going to select create me a decision table and we end up with a table with two columns. One is the condition column, one is the action column. And the way to interpret this is the condition column is evaluated and if that evaluation becomes true then the corresponding action column is executed. So let's rename our columns. Let's, uh, uh, the first condition is we're going to call it order value, order value and the action is going to be we will call this set discount. Now let's set the condition. So we come over here and uh, we will say that the definition of this column is going to be our expression. And we can hit control space and we'll say order amount. If the order amount is at least some minimum value but less than some maximum value, that's it. We hit the define button and now our tables is built ready for us to enter values. So between zero 
and 100 would be one, between 100 and 200 would be another, and between uh, 200 and 500 would be a third, and finally we might say uh, 500 to some maximum integer, let's say a million dollars, like this. And then for the set discount, we can set uh, the definition of that column to be something like set the variable. Uh, my variable here would be the discount. I'll leave that unset. And now we can come in here and set the discount values to be zero and not point, not five percent, uh, five percent and not point one, ten percent and not point one five, fifteen percent and we've defined our table. Now we can change our formatting so we might come here and format the column as for example percentages and now we're seeing this in percentages and we might format this column as for example US dollar amounts. So US dollar amounts. Update. Boom. And now we're seeing values in dollars. So this is the notion behind decision tables. It's not different from writing the scripts by hand, but what it does is it provides a higher level model interface for uh, customers of IBM's BPM who are familiar with IBM's Operational Decision Management, ODM, this looks very familiar because what we've got here is a subset of IBM's ODM installed as part of IBM's BPM. So let's see this thing actually run. So I've got uh, my calculate discount rule here. If we look at this, this decision table, here's the data that we entered previously. And I've got some variables. I've got a variable called order amount and the discount. And in my solution, we run through here. This will calculate the discount. And I have a post condition here which logs the discount and calculates my new total. So if we run this for a order amount of, oh, I don't know, let's say uh, $10, the discount should be zero. If I hit the play button, it runs. And if we look in my console output, if all has gone well, we should see a discount of zero and the total remains at $10. So if I change my amount to be $150, hit the play button again, and now go back to my console. Now we've got a discount of 5% and the total is now, well, 5% off $150. And let's try it one last time. Let's say it's gonna be $250. Hit the play button. Hit the play button. Look at the output. The output is now a discount of 10% and 10% of $250 is, uh, $25 and that has been removed from my total giving me a new total. So we see here that at runtime the rules are in fact being executed and uh, the decision the, the rule that's being executed here is what's known as a decision table and my decision table format and technology can be uh, richer than I've shown here. The conditions can be uh, oh quite 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 rich. So we can add and things together or things, provide all kinds of different numerics. And here we're using just numerics, but we've also got string processing and a lot more. So my friends, that's what I wanted to show you. Just a quick taste of the new decision table development feel within IBM's uh, web-based process designer. Hope you found this useful. I'll be making more of these videos shortly. Thanks for now. Bye-bye.